Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today is bargain of the week and I actually have several bargains for you. I couldn't make up my mind. It was, well, it makes up for lost time because it has been weeks since the last bargain of the week. And I know I did some skincare ones, so here's some makeup bargains for you. I'm totally wearing actually what I'm gonna show you and I know I just did a get ready with me um, with like a ton of cheap makeup and I can link that somewhere around here. I always say I will and I don't know if I ever do, but you know what I mean. It'll be like in an iCard or down in the description box or maybe it'll be at the end screen. <laughs> That's usually where I link other videos. Anyhow, um, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of, well, drugstore shopping, hello, but um, there's a lot of stuff in drugstores. I feel like my drugstores are updating their cosmetic departments. So even if the products aren't new releases, I'm getting merchandise that I've never seen before. And also, um, I feel like because I'm trying to kind of clean out my stuff and my existing stash, I'm discovering products I forgot I had because I sort of have my existing, you know, my drawers with like, oh, this is powder, oh, this is bronzer. But then I also have a drawer of just stuff like I've just bought and I kind of put stuff in there. And then I have a drawer of where it's like, oh, that's been sent to me and it's PR, so I wanna keep it separate. And then I put that in a drawer. And you know, I focus on those things and then I forget what's in kind of the, the, the home drawers, if you will. Anyway, so I did some, uh, I just did some exploring and through the home drawers and I am, it's casual Friday, you know? I'm like wearing my just Target thin sweatshirt and yeah, um, I'm, I'm feeling that like, uh, I'm so busy, I don't know what to do. So I think I'll do nothing, how about that? Let's start with a redundant bargain, um, but maybe some of you, if you're new here, you won't know I talked about it. And also it's from at least a year ago, but I might as well just point out the fact that the foundation I'm wearing, <laughs> which I was like, holy crap, this is good. It's the LA Colors Matte. Um, I brought this up in my Get Ready With Me and I'm like, I was like listing cheap foundations and then I'm going, oh wait, I haven't used that in a while, I'm gonna try it. And I don't really have primer on and I barely even powdered which I'll show you what I did over it, but I'm like, this is so weird because it's kind of good. And it's $6 and LA Colors is, you know, at a drugstore. I get mine at Bartels, which is a Northwest drugstore chain. Um, did I tell you this is natural, the shade? CLM352. There's nothing in here. Well, there's a lot in here, but it's actually, I want to say there's maybe like nine or 10 ingredients total, which, you know, compared to some others where you see like an entire list of stuff. And of course, sometimes they have things in parentheses because they're giving you their non-technical names or non-scientific names. So anyhow, um, it is, it's just, it's pretty darn good. Um, it's matte. I have dry skin, but I prep my skin and then I don't feel like it's drying. I mean, really? Okay. And then the new product that launched recently. It's from Neutrogena. It's their liquid highlighter. This is Supernova. Um, I think I bought this at Walmart. I'm not sure where it's available with Neutrogena products or, you know, cosmetics. But um, what I did, I kind of love this. It has, I don't know if it's hydrating. I don't know. It just, well, it says liquid highlighter infused with vitamin E. Um, so, it has a very nice sheen about it, right? You know, it's just like, ooh, that's pretty. But what I did was I put on my foundation, I had my concealer, and then I just took a, a, a pea size a bit and I just like dabbed it on my cheeks and I went kind of like this whole area. <laughs> We're up here to here, like I just, took my beauty sponge, my dampened beauty sponge that I had just blended my foundation with and I blended that out and I just kind of left it. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, because look, it didn't break down my foundation. 
it has this nice glow. I mean, hello, it has a nice glow. <laughs> I wrote poetry. It's about makeup. Um, and I just feel like it makes my skin look really good. So there you go. And I think you could mix it in with a foundation. You could put it on before. You could mix it in with like a tinted moisture. You know, just whatever you want to do for, um, you can play around with it. And then for powder, I showed you guys uh, Ruby Kisses has a great um, matte mineral powder compact and it's like a finishing powder but it's also a really good setting powder and then this is a finishing powder in it's their banana color correcting powder and look at this it comes in a compact with the little um, well underneath and instead of a sponge it has a little fan brush and I think this is so great it has such a good um, subtle application one because of this brush but it's a very fine powder it goes on quite transparent it's not chalky there's something really nice about a lot of the Ruby Kisses makeup it's geared toward women of color I think that the uh, majority of the products have darker shades which is great so like foundations and concealers and stuff like that they do throw in some pale shades and they have great eyeshadows and lip products and this and and they have great powders so I'm just really impressed with this I'll go through Walmart and I just peruse the aisles and if something looks different to me that I've not seen before or I don't see anybody talk about then I'm gonna try it this um Okay, I have two more, and they're both Elf. They're Elf and Essence. You know, like my favorite cheap. I love Elf and Essence. I just love them. Okay, um, I'm getting out of breath. Why? Elf has this has been around for a while. This is not. No, is it? Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about the Elf, the Putty Primer, and it's a dupe for the Tatcha Primer, and that's great and all. And I haven't tried that yet, but um. This is their mattifying balm. Now what this is a dupe for is if you remember back in the day, which I, the reason I say that, cause for me it was like 10 years ago, I would buy Mally Beauty on QVC. And this was before YouTube, this was before, I mean, it was just kind of when I was a makeup junkie, not doing anything for, <laughs> I didn't have any direction um, with my addiction. And, um, and she does not believe in powder at all. And she has this balm that she uses for powdering you know, um, eliminating shine on the skin, and it's kind of this blotting balm, and it's okay. Uh, you know, I was like, eh, it's okay. Like, I couldn't get it to work so great for me because I found that it 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 still broke down product when you put it on top of your makeup. I was like, okay, I can see some of my makeup pull away. I can see some pores, and I'd rather just use powder. So this though. I kind of careful it's it's soft so if you really jam your sponge in you're gonna push a lot of product along but it's this balm and it is transparent and it definitely cuts shine I like it I used it on top I've, I've tried it both ways my favorite way to use it is before foundation like um, or by itself if you want to just kind of smooth your complexion no makeup, but you want to eliminate your pores, you know, just kind of blur over everything. This does that. And then you put foundation on top of it and you like, and you blot, it really, you know, it kind of creates this coverage and this, it is kind of a putty if you ask me. So I think it's pretty cool. And you can try it for like touch ups um, to, you know, in terms of instead of powder, you can use it to blot. Uh, I'll let you decide what you want to do with that. I mean, it is cool to do that because then you don't get flashback. Um, you're not drying your skin. I mean, there's a lot of benefits to it. It just it's, it's up to you if that if that works. And then last, this is from Essence and um, this is extreme lasting it's an eye pencil but it's in the shade silky nude and i really 
like it. I think it's $1.99 and it's, you know how, I mean, a lot of people, you know, they do this for, oh, the water line. See how pale my skin is, but I think you can see that a little bit. Um, and it's such a good pencil. It's so soft, but I use it in like my tear duct. Um, I don't necessarily use it in my water line because I, my water line is very watery. Like, <laughs> nothing lasts there, even Kat Von D, even anything waterproof. It just doesn't last, so I don't know. I just think if you're looking for one of those nude eye pencils for like waterline or anything else, this is a great one. So those are my bargains, you guys. I've got quite a few and it's fun because they're cheap. They're like right around six bucks, eight dollars, whatever, or less. And yeah, so I will list them below. You can hunt for them in your hometown or find them online and have fun and I hope you enjoy this bargain of the week and my series of bargains and I'm trying to bring you bargains as much as I can and thanks so much for watching and I hope you subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.